In this episode of Mod Mondays, we're going to be installing this TRD Pro style skid plate from Lowstar on this brand new 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's go. Let's quickly go over what's required for this installation. All these products will be included in the description box below. Let's start with the instruction manual detailing the step-by-step -step installation process for your Toyota Tacoma skid plate. Next, here is a package of the skid plate hardware that we'll use to attach the new skid plate to our Tacoma. And here is the optional TRD lettering to make this aftermarket look as close as possible to the TRD Pro skid plate. I bought this one from Toughskin and it comes in multiple colors. Lastly, here's a skid plate from Lowstar. I got this specific one from Amazon and it's cheaper than the OEM TRD Pro skid plate. It looks very sturdy and has a premium feel to it. The first step on this installation is to remove the OEM air dam. You're gonna need to remove the 7 black bolts at the front of your Tacoma. Use your drill or a wrench and a 10mm socket for this step. Next, grab your keys and turn your truck wheels to one side to fully access the other bolts. You're gonna need to remove these two black bolts on both sides of the Tacoma. Again, use your drill and your 10mm socket. Repeat this step on the other side and then remove the OEM air dam. The next step in this installation is an optional step, but in my opinion, this will enhance the look of your skid plate. We're going to be installing the TRD lettering from Toughskin around this area. I'm using the illustration from the manual as a guide for the placement of the letters. To assist in this alignment, I use a tape to make sure everything is aligned properly. I use this side of the letter R as my starting point, aligning it with a third grill hole. This step was the longest one for me as I'm very particular. As you can see, I even use a speed square to make sure my tape is at 90 degrees. After this, simply peel off the adhesive film and stick the letter R on the skid plate applying even pressure to make sure that the letter is adhered to the skid plate properly. I then tape the top of the letter R so I can align the rest of the letters properly. Like I said, I am very particular so I even measure the spacing of the tape on both sides. Following this, simply remove the adhesive film on the other letters and adhere it to the skid plate. The next step is to remove the OEM skid plate from your Tacoma. If you own a ramp, I suggest using it to make sure the rest of this installation is easier. This will allow for more clearance while you're working under the truck. Grab your creeper and your drill and remove these four 12mm bolts. Note that the front of the OEM skid plate is hooked on the truck. Simply lift this up and out after the bolts are removed. After removing the OEM skid plate, let's now pre-install the new skid plate bolts. The set comes with three different bolt sizes. The medium sized one goes on the front of the skid plate. The longest one to the middle. and the smallest one to the back. Grab the bolt, insert it on the hole, add the spacer, 
and use the plastic piece provided to hold this assembly in place. This will make the next step of the installation easier especially if you're doing this alone. Repeat this step for the longest bolt attaching it to the middle of the skid plate. For the rear bolts, the plastic piece was too big to hold down the bolt, so we will install this separately later. Next, let's remove the OEM mounting bolts from your Tacoma. There's four 17mm silver bolts that we'll need to remove so we can attach your new skid plate. I suggest using a wrench for this step to avoid potentially stripping the bolt locations on your Tacoma. Note that you'll need a socket extension for the back bolts. Repeat these steps on the other side. If you're enjoying this video so far, please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Let's now install the low star skid plate from Amazon. This will be easier with two people, but if you're alone, use a car jack as your helper. Align the jack approximately where the skid plate will be placed. Grab your skid plate and place it on the jack. Slowly pump the jack up while adjusting its position until the bolts are lined up to the mounting holes. Once lined up, start hand tightening the front two 15mm bolts. You may need to use your knees to lift the back end to make this step a little easier. Next, hand tighten the rear two 10mm bolts. This will ensure the middle bolts are properly lined up. Grab your wrench, a 15mm and a 10mm socket and an extension and start tightening the front bolts. Please note to not over tighten this as we will properly torque this as a last step. Repeat the same on the rear bolts using a 10mm socket. Do this again for the middle 15mm bolts which has the longest bolt. Again, do not over tighten this as we'll torque it properly later. Lower your jack and put this away. Finally, let's now torque the bolts properly. Use a torque wrench and a 15mm and a 10mm socket and set up the dial to 45Nm. We'll be using this for the front and middle bolts. For the rear, you're going to need to set this to 29 Nm. meters. Repeat this on the other side and enjoy your brand new skid plate. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this DIY skid plate installation. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.